Greetings and welcome to Honeycomb Hotel. It's another game by Everett Caves of Software. Again, it's something that I've played for many, 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 many years. And I just thought it would be fun to feature on the channel because it's one of these logic type games that's really good for just like chilling out in the evening. I used to play them every evening when I was in college and just... Um, just kind of tease my brain with them. Um, there's a lot of options in this particular game. This is one of the um, the cool games that has, like, there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of generated puzzles that uh, you can choose. This particular game has a small uh, image or a uh, small puzzle, and then there's a bigger one, and then the biggest. And each of these has different difficulty levels, uh, some of which require what-if solutions to solve. So I'm going to show you just how to play the game. Uh, let's do just size one. The idea is this is a honeycomb, and you are supposed to get through the honeycomb by making a path uh, going around, and it's a non-branching path, so it's like a single, single file all the way through. So you use the clues that are on all the sides here to decide what to do next. So for example, the mouse is paired with H, so we can put the H right there. Uh, and that automatically makes the, um, well, the dog pops out because there's only two choices, really. This is a small, small puzzle. <laughs> so, and path-wise, we know that the mouse has a path like this. So we'll put those in, and then we close off the other parts of the honeycomb. Um, now, we know that the um, ant is next to the Y, but we don't know which side of the Y it's on, so we'll just leave that for now. We also know that the ant has a path going from the left side to the upper right, so if we tried to put that path here, it would go outside the honeycomb, so that's not the right spot, so we know that cannot be an ant, so therefore it has to be the grasshopper. So then we can connect this. And this one now has only two pathways. So we put these in here and block that one off this. Then we take our last clue, the ant is next to the Y and choose the Y. Boom, one. All right. Woohoo! I love the wind thing for this, it's so cool. <laughs> Hallelujah, indeed. All right. So yeah, let's start a new game and let's do the big size. And I'm just gonna do it on the easiest difficulty uh, for this particular playthrough since this is my first, it's been a long time since I've played this game. So it's it's like the first puzzle back. Um, okay, so we have a, a few clues here. What I usually like to do is look at the clues I have already in place uh, and then just kind of scan around the sides to see what I can put in. So I know we've got a pathway with the ladybug right here. You can also delete the clues once you've used them so you don't have to look at them again. All right, we have grasshopper. We know that a, this um, cat is associated with the grasshopper. There we go. And with the ladybird, we know that the dog is. There we go. Boom. All right, dog is also associated with the flower, which is right there. As you can see on these easy puzzles, they do give you extra amounts of clues. Um, on the harder ones, they are take quite some time to solve. Okay, so here we have a dog next to an apple. So we have a pumpkin on this side, so we know the apple is here. Not only that, there is a blocked path. We cannot have a, a green path there. Okay, so um, next thing. The apple has a path like this. There we go. So we'll shove that in. Good. Um, let's keep on looking. Are there any more instant solve things? Oh, this is a fun bit of clue here. Um, I like when there are like these double clues, like yellow is next to blue and it's also next to green. So we know that yellow cannot be on an edge thing, so we can take the yellows out of here. Okay. Um, all right, so mouse is next to a bear. That's okay. Um, let's start just from the path ones. I like the path ones best. All the path ones for the pansy fit. Let's look at the, oh, here's a pumpkin. That one's already in place. Excellent. Now, um, the pear, we can't have it here because it has to connect to the left and the lower left. So it can't be there either. Now, the bee. This path doesn't fit with the bee, so the bee's gotta be right here. All right, there we go. And here we have the path here. 
This path is complete because we cannot connect more than one time to the same path. Let's get rid of this one here. Do we have any other? Yeah, we do. We have an O associated with the B. Excellent. Put an O. Any more insects? Hmm. I don't see any at the moment. Okay, that's just fine. Now, let's get back to our pears. Oh, and then the snowflake. It's there. Let me turn this down just slightly. I feel like it's a little too loud. Aha, I'm turning down the wrong thing. That's why it didn't work. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now we have a onion next to a potato. Um, kind of looking for other clues that may say, ah, oh, uh, onion is next to something else. We don't know. Here's a good one. The onion is associated with the sun. So these onions can't have a sun, so take them out of here. We can also take the potato out of here because they're not near an onion. Because the onion is next to the potato, we know that this thing has to be either an onion or a potato, so we can delete the rest of them from that particular area. Okay, and let's see. This sun has no uh, onion, so we take that one off. Now, blue houses. Um, or let's do the pansy, because the pansy relates first to the blue house. So take blue house here, here, and there. And blue house also has a Y, so this one has to go and the pansy has to go. These two have Ys, so the blue house can only be in those two spots. Now, we have a... Um, the springtime, because these are like four seasons, I think. Springtime has to have an E with it. So let's take spring out of here. Or is that summer? No, summer is the sun, I think. Or leaf. We just call it a leaf. I don't know. We'll call it something. <laughs> oh, here's one. An easy one. Here's the blue house. There we go. Get the pansy going and the Y. Boom. Awesome. So the blue house is next to a yellow house. So these cannot be yellow houses. And the yellow house is next to a greenhouse. So this can't be a greenhouse. That one can't be green and that one can't be green. Oops, that one can't be green. So we have this like a chain, blue, yellow, green or blue, yellow, green right there. Now Y is next to an N with a green path between them. So let's do that. Close off the other sides. All right, so red house is next to the corn. They can all be that. Um, mouse next to an E. So these are no E's, no mouse. Go away. Now, Pansy is next to a purple house. This is the only purple house available. Get the path there. Okay, and it's smart enough to make this the yellow house next to a green. And these guys all have blocks between them. So we'll put those in. Okay. So now we have a bear next to a mouse. Well, look at this, there's no more mice here. So take those off. These two are the only two places that can contain a pig and a crow. So we'll take the pig and the crow out of these two. So then we get our bear and a mouse. Doesn't matter where they are, they have a barrier between them. Get rid of that. Pansy next to the rose. Put it in, boom. Okay. So now we have the red house next to the corn. This can't be corn. All right. Pansy, here we go. That's from this clue here. Okay, still can't do anything about this pear. The crow, all right. We cannot have this kind of a path for the crow, so that has to be the pig. There we go. You can mark those off. Let's go back to this um, winter snowflake. Can't be there or there. Boom, and then they all go because we've deducted all the other things. Okay, good. This has only two paths, so we gotta go connect that that way. Can do some more connections around here as well. Oh, whoops, wrong click. That was the wrong click. Okay, good. And you should be conscious also of um, having like single you know you have to have one continuous line you can't have two broken up pathways so that's another clue that can help you deduce things okay so let's the sun has the onion onion next to the potato 
this gets a path like this. So basically these couldn't connect, so we automatically know that that's a barrier. This one there, path, path, boom, boom, shove, shove, there we go. Okay, good, okay. So this one goes all the way this way. Um, and then this is the other side path. So somehow this one's got to connect this way kind of ish. All right, let's get an E. Let's get our red house next to, aha. So this is a good way of deduction. If this were a red house, it would have to have a red barrier between it and the corn. This one does not, it has a green path. So this cannot be the red house. And this must be the corn. And we'll put the barrier there. So this has to connect there. And therefore we can fill in the rest of the paths. So we're done with the paths. Now the mouse is next to an E, so it goes there. And boom, we are done. Yeah. Yay. So even though this is a really old game, there are, I guess you could call it mods. Um, you can you can add MIDI files, I think, and you can add, um, well, or you can just mute the music and play whatever you want. As I said, it's a really, really old game, but it's, it's a good, good logic game. Um, there are, aha, you can change the graphics. There are several graphics cards or graphics um, tile sets here. They have different ones. I think I've been playing with EKS Hotel. And then there's also a background that you can change the background. Um, is it UI graphics? Yeah. So this is the background that you can choose. Different backgrounds, things, stuffs, you know, that people have made over the years. Um, there might even be more tile sets now. I have no idea. It's been a very long time. Um, blue green. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I think this is the one I used to play on. Was it this one? Oh, yes. This brings back memories. I remember it wasn't that fancy stuff. I was just playing it raw, man. Um, let's see. I think there is. Not what if. I want to look at the. These are the clues. Okay, here it is. The first 15,000 puzzle. puzzles can be solved purely through repeated ap application of the clues. Um, so at 15,001, you get what if type logic. So then 30,001, you get other what if things. And then puzzle 45,001, the program gets really nasty and uses a great deal of what if logic in constructing puzzles. So this is quite expansive. Let's do a 15,001 puzzle. Um, Go, go away. I, I want to do this. All right. I don't know how hard it's going to be. I have played so many of these puzzles. Sometimes I even had them like memorized, but there are a number of them. So anyway, I really have enjoyed this game for a long, long time. That's why I kind of want, I know it's got basic graphics and basic sound, but sometimes the game is worth more than that, right? Anyway, that's why I chose to play it on the channel because it's a lot of fun. And um, anyway, the way they sell these games, and I bought these like ages ago, um, is they have like packages where you can buy several games at once, whatever you like. Um, well, not whatever you like, they, they have specific um, packets that you can buy to save. Cause I think each game is like $20, but you can buy like five or six of them for 40 or something like that. Anyway, so, I'm, so the goal here is to show you several of the games and see if you're interested and, and may want to share my addiction of these funky things. Okay. Um, oh, and by the way, I am playing this as just because I like it. I haven't talked to the developer or anything, and I'm not getting paid for showing this to you guys. I just thought it might be interesting. Okay, so let's get back to these clues here. Um, this is an interesting clue because it's on the bottom, and there are only four spaces on the bottom. So the grasshopper cannot be on the edges, obviously, because of this path. And this center path must be a connection because of the way it's aligned there. Just thought I'd mention that. Oh, whoops, clicked the wrong thing. And also, the other thing you can do is you can turn off notifications so that it does not tell you if you got something incorrect, which makes it all the more harder if you enjoy that sort of thing. 
Okay, let's get this one out of here, there, and there, and there. That's nice. Okay, roses can't be here, can't be here, and not there either. So roses are on either of these two squares, and because of the pathways, we know that this has to be a barrier. Okay, so why is next to that? Oh, I didn't finish doing the others. Okay, no white house there because of this clue here. Bear needs to be connected to the Y. There we go. Y is next to the ant. There we go. See, it's already planning for us to win. <laughs> it's just playing the hallelujah chorus again. <laughs> I have it set to like randomly go through the different MIDI files. Okay, so we have this yellow house and uh, the autumn leaf. So let's take that out of there. Okay, there goes the blue house. Nothing about a blue house. Okay, just looking for news of a blue house. Now the cat is associated with the sun. Kind of makes sense. Okay. No cat here. Cat can go there. Good, good, good. Now we have the tulip with onions. Onions, yes. Okay, no onions there and there. Okay, so this is a cool one. So we have a ladybug associated with the pansy. This is the only space where they're both are going to fit in the same uh, diagonal line. And then here we go back to our grasshopper. All right, and sun associated with Y. Okay. Chetties next to a cat, so they're clearly not here. And they're also next to a potato, so they're not there either. So this one has to be either cherry or potato right here. Which is nice, because it popped out this one guy over there. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. All right, this red house this needs to be near a pear. There we go. Yeah, I think I was doing the top level ones when I was playing this in my heyday of, of playing this fun stuff. It was such a long time ago. I just remembered it when I, I saw someone playing um, the, the game that's like Descartes Enigma where you use logic to, to come up with puzzle solutions. I thought, oh my god, I enjoyed that game so much. Okay, we got an autumn leaf connected with this flower. There we go. And uh, an H next to the B. Ugh. We don't know which one of those it is. Okay, get rid of this. Oh, here we go. Leaf with a yellow house. Cat and the sun. So I'm feeling, honestly, this is a bit too easy. We may have to turn it up for the next episode. Okay, cat is next to a potato and... Oh, no, no, no. No, cat is next to cherries. Cherries is next to potato. So this got to be red. Okay, so here is our path. So this one cannot be cherries. This one must be cherries and have a block between it. There we go. Makes sense. Now, cat has a blocked path with an N. H. Go. Pig is next to an O. And the sun is near those little bells. So we don't know which one though. Not yet. This has a blocked pathway. Aha! Uh -huh. So we are gonna have to do some kind of deduction here to figure out which path we can go. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to do the what if. I think, is it this? Aha, what if. Okay, so what if, what happens if you do a what if is you change one unknown into a known, and this is like, like a test mode. So if you change like this one to this, and you go like this, but then say, oh, no, 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 that's not going to be it, you can just undo it, and it'll undo all of your changes. So let's start off with, you can do it two ways. You can either try to prove something right or try to prove something wrong, depending on where you are in the game. So let's try to do this one to be the rose. Just try to go like this. That one has to be there. Okay, we know that this is wrong because the sun cannot be next to the bell. 
So therefore, we take this off. So that's going to be the bell, that's going to be a block, and then this is going to be our path. There we go. Alright, so the rest of this is going to be interesting. This one. Okay, so let's do another what if. Um, what if this is connected this way? Right? Boom! Okay, awesome! We guessed right, and obviously if you get the what if correct, then you don't have to redo it all, all the steps. You just, it will open up and be happy and exciting, and there it is. All right, so I hope you very much enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, I can play harder levels. That might be a little bit more challenging and fun. Um, anyway, take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.